Welcome back to the channel. Today we got the 1998 Expedition back in the shop. We had to broke, fix a few broken manifold studs on it. And I got a full Magna Flow exhaust that I'm going to put on it as well that I got off of Hertz Rig. So, uh, yeah, we'll get at that, get this thing up in the air, and start carrying it apart. Alright, I already got the driver's side off. It's hard to show you. But I'll take the passion side off. You see, these ones are pretty crusty. The other side was. A lot better looking than these. So I'll put the heat to them and see how many turn off or break. You can see that one already broke and the one below it's broke. That one I can see is broke off inside the head, so that'll be a fun one to get off. But all right, I'll get the torch going and start turning these off. I get the passenger side off. Didn't break any. The bottom one there, it came out, the whole stud and nut and all. So I don't get a fight with that one when I change the studs. I'm gonna put all new ones in, even the ones that didn't break. A couple of them are looking pretty crusty. But them two there at the back, focus, are the ones that were already broke to start with. And yeah, they're broke back inside the head. So. I'll try a couple different ways on getting them out. One way, weld the washer to them and then put a weld a nut to the washer. Try and turn it out with the socket and ratchet. Another way I've done it is weld on to the broken piece. Hard to do. Weld on to the broken piece, get some built up, and then put heat on the side of the head here. And then work the broken stud with the weld on it with a pair of vice grips. And I did that before and it worked out pretty good, so try both ways. After once I had this one most of the way off, I noticed right up at the front of this manifold, once some rust come off, there was hole in the manifold. So I don't need a peak manifold now, but so I didn't care to save that one, so I just ended up packing her up, make it easier to get at this one, because that was this is the lower one that came out. That one was, I could not get at it. And it was stripped, so rusty. Great Canadian life. So I said hell with it once it was, in, I realized the manifold was no good. I just cut it off out the way that I could just get right at it. I'll get, get this set up again. I'll try, I'll take all these ones out before I even see, see if any more of them break. I just set up and start turning them ones out.
most of them ones. Now, ones I gotta put up a big fight. Let's see how far back in there. They broke back in there. I don't have to make it a real pain. I don't know how much video I'll get right on it. It's kind of a hard spot to film and get into it once. So what I can do, I'll get them out one way. I figured I'd show the studs for you. Just tossed them out. See, I just built up on that one. Twist that one out. Oh, that's the other one there. The piece of weld did break off right at the end, but I was still able to grab hold of what was left of the stud. So that was good. And then this one where weld the washer on, weld your nut to the washer, and then down inside. On what's left of the stud. Use a pretty big, trying to use a bigger nut so you can get the welder in there a bit. So, get it nice and hot and get her stuck on. So, all right, we'll get back at putting it together. Well, that's the passenger side on. I'll tighten up. I put a little high temp in behind with the gaskets, uh, just because. We can tighten up. Now I'll crawl up underneath, put up the Y pipe the converters on it. That tighten up and uh, get it connected to the other side. I already got the other side on. EGR hooked up. You already got this side all hooked up. Can't really see from underneath. But... Yeah, I just gotta put the couple things back on. Put the inner fender in. I'll do that very last. Oh, all right. So we'll uh, get set up and 
crawl up underneath and start doing that. Hey, okay, exhaust is on. You can see where both those converters are coming down. Come over. You can see where they Y up. Bumps down from the two and a half to the three inch, right over the cross member, and then the whole tailpipe's three inch. So uh, let's put the camera up on the tripod by the tailpipe and stir it up and see how it sounds. Well. That's it. This one's all finished up. Sounds pretty good. So I'll just end this video here, guys. Until the next one, thanks for watching.